All right. I, uh, I'm happy, man. I, uh, I had a pretty good year last year. I lost like uh, 25 pounds. And uh, well, that's nice. No, no, that's nice. You know, it's weird. When you're in your 20s and your 30s and you drop, uh, you drop some weight, people notice they're nice about it. Man, they're like, hey, man, you look good. Shit, you put the plug in the mug and you stopped eating the biscuits. You look awesome, man. And they're proud of you, you know? But when you're in your 40s and you lose weight, people are like, you doing all right? Huh? You doing all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing good. I lost some weight. Did you? You look a little sallow. Sallow? Sallow? Yeah, a little peaked. Peaked. Yeah, your eyes are all buggy. No, man, I lost some weight. I feel good, man. I, you know, I just stopped, you know, I stopped putting so much food in my mouth. Because you couldn't keep it down? No, because of the treatments. The treatments? What are you talking about? No, man, what are you talking about? I got myself up, I started running. Yeah, from the truth, because you have AIDS? No. Where would I get AIDS? I don't even have that much fun. I, uh... Here's what happened. Christmas last year, I'm going to a party with my wife. I'm in my bathroom. Here's why I lost weight. I'm cruising across the bathroom. We got a cabinet mirror open. I got a mirror here and I catch an angle. You ever do that? You see an angle on yourself that you don't normally see because your head's not torn off and sitting on a table, <laughs> right? And I see an angle and I just, it's just quick. It's just a moment. I have this moment. I have two thoughts. My first thought is fat ghost. Like, um, <laughs> oh my God. My bathroom is haunted by a sad, fat, old, with back fat, like a back fat, like a drippy, like a, like a fat avalanche over the, the waistband of the underpants. There's no ass anymore because I'm 40, so it's just the underpants going, no! And there's fat just cascading, bacon jiggle all the way down the back. So that's my first thought, is fat ghost. And then my second thought is, oh my God, my wife has to fuck that guy. Like, how sad. Like, I thought she turned the lights off because she was shy, so... I was like, I gotta get behind, I gotta lose some weight. I gotta take some weight off, man. I wanna, cause I do, I just wanna feel good about it. I just wanna be able to go, you know, I call it the full McConaughey. I just wanna be able to go shirtless. Just to be, you know what I mean? I'm not saying, he, I'm just saying he's a guy that's comfortable without a shirt on. He'll just take a shirt off for no reason. He'll be at a premiere, he'll take a shirt and his shoes off. He's like a monkey. He's just walking around, playing a bongo, riding a bicycle with Lance Armstrong. He doesn't care, he's just shirtless just doing it he's out there just ripped up you know just tore up there's abs out there you know ripped like Jesus you've seen it you know Jesus was ripped you've seen the photos you're in a church he's up there you know the sermon's long you finally look up you're like wow two four six eight obliques man that's that's a nice Jesus walking around the desert being able to get that loincloth in a 28 Gotta get that in a 28. Come on, Jesus. You know they're only they're one size fits all. Come on, man. <laughs> Just would be able, to, you know, because I'm not even. He's confident. I'm not confident. Like I still, I've lost 25 pounds. I still shower in a sweater. Like I can't. <laughs> even if I did go shirtless, I'd have to. The only way I could do it is if I pretended I was looking for a shirt. You know, I could do it, but I'd have to be like, does anyone see my shirt at all? Anybody seen? Anybody seen his shirt at all? I lost. But there's something else about McConaughey that I like. It's his way of being in the world. He has a sense of confidence, a sense of purpose. He doesn't care what you think. Like, like McConaughey makes two kinds of movies, shitty and awful, and he doesn't care. And we still like him and we keep going, right? He doesn't care. And I was like, what's the secret to his success? What is it that he has that I don't? And then I did the Conan O'Brien show and he was on the show as well. And I saw him standing in the hallway. And when McConaughey is standing, when McConaughey is standing, he stands like this. He tips it out. He brings it forward. Do you see what I'm saying? He leads in here. He brings this to you first. What he does is he allows his cock to enter the room first to announce the arrival of his face. Mr. McConaughey will be coming soon. Please.